Hello, once again, Knights fans. Phil Paquette here with FUKnights.com for the FU Women's Basketball Report, the fourth edition of the 2015-16 season here with the leader of the women's basketball uh, program, head coach Peter Sanella. Coach, no game since the last time we spoke, but Erica Livermore was named NEC player, co-player of the week this past week for her efforts against St. Peter's. She got some early baskets going early against the Peacocks. Seemed to get you, her and your team into a solid rhythm. Yes, the team did a great job getting the ball, and she really demanded the ball. She was very dominant. She got the ball wherever she wanted and scored nine for ten for, you know, from the field. Uh, excellent game, player, uh, NEC player of the week, well-deserved. But we need, to, we need her to keep playing like that and continue to will her way to the basket and, and pull stuff very hard. Now you guys welcome UMass Lowell here on Friday night at 5.30 for a doubleheader with the men's team. The Riverhawks coming off a win in their last effort. What's, what do you expect from the Riverhawks? Well, they're a very big team. Uh, their best player is from Phoenix, so they have a local player, Kayla Gibson. Very good, tough on the blocks. Probably one of the best centers you know you'll see as far as scoring from the low post uh, the rest of the season. So she's a very good player, and they're just they're well coached and they're a very big physical team. So we got to try and take away the blocks, but they have a couple good shooters, and we got to make sure they don't get open threes. You mentioned uh, they're a very big team. You guys lost up at their place last year. What's going to be the biggest key for you guys as a, as a team ba uh, for execution purposes on Friday night? Well, I think one of the keys is we have to get the ball inside. We have to make them work and take it to the basket. And then we're going to set you know set a lot of ball screens, get, get a lot of people coming off screens, and just shoot the ball well. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball that well at Lowell last year. They had a very good backcourt. They had two uh, seniors that have double figures. So um, they hurt us last season. But this year is a different team, and we got to find a way to stop them inside and not give your key shooters those open looks. Now you guys conclude the weekend with a matchup against former NEC foe Monmouth on Sunday night at 7 here at the uh, Stratus Arena. Uh, what do you expect out of the uh, Hawks? Monmouth, uh, you know, rivalry game. You know, used to be a conference uh, opponent. Now we, we play each other every year out of conference, only about an hour away. But Monmouth really plays an up-tempo game. They take a, 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 an amazing amount of three-pointers. Uh, expect them to press us and, and play some zone. And they put up a lot of threes. So it's going to be a a very up and down game and we got to defend that three point line against them. Now you guys have the holiday break coming up after the game against Monmouth and you have Santa and Brown afterwards. Is you give your kids a couple days off before the holidays obviously and then how soon afterwards you guys usually get going again for your guys two games to, to close out the year? Well it's good it's always good to take four or five days off so we're, we are doing that right, right after our Monmouth game. We'll take you know four full days off and you know, let them mentally recuperate and, and any type of, you know, small injuries get healed and, and come back fresh. So we'll come back on the 26th. And, uh, you know, it's always good to have that time, you know, with the holidays and, and time to rest. We gave them a, a good, you know, rest this past weekend as well. And, and during finals, we only practiced for an hour and 15 minutes. So there's th their legs are good, and we're, uh, we want to continue to stay mentally and physically fresh. Thanks for your time today, Coach. Knights fans, be sure to check out the doubleheader this on Friday night with the men with the men facing Townsend after the Knights take on UMass Lowell at 5:30, and like Coach said, they take on Monmouth at 7 p.m. on Sunday here at the Stratus Arena.